I'm having a quick stop over on the way home after a whole night of driving bicycle taxi and just as it is kind of my my habit I'm just passing by the metal rubbish it's pretty empty but have a look what is inside look how many frying pans and um, that's always like this it's mostly like what is in here is like empty cans and then some other random stuff and then mostly frying pans so these are these kind of teflon coated frying pans which actually can be re-coated um the thing is like these Teflon frying pans, they're not really a good product. I don't know, it's a, is it a marketing hoax or something? It's just like, they don't last. They get scratches and people know that it's not healthy to use scratched Teflon coated frying pans. Um, I really love the, the uh, cast iron pans, those really heavy ones. Uh, they're just really good. They're totally non-stick, easy to clean, last forever, and you can use proper metal tools to, to use in the pan. So I don't know what it is, and I'm wondering like what people do now after they threw those away. Do they buy another Teflon-coated frying pan, or is there something new that they fall for? I have no clue. It's just I find it a bit sad that there is not this awareness of... of um, yeah, kind of honoring the resources that we use. Like if we take stuff from the soil to turn it into something useful for us, then we should really, really take good care of it and really make products that last forever. I think we know that. Yeah, I don't know why I do I even make this video. I just thought it's like interesting to see. I guess most people don't look into the metal waste and don't see how many Teflon coated frying pans end up there. Just a shame. So. I don't know about this recoating. never had to look into it, but it, I know it's possible to give them a new coating, so maybe that might be a thing to upcycle them. Yeah, okay, that was it. Have a good time, bye-bye.